All right, where have we not been? City Hall, ah, uh, let's talk to her. Not R, but, uh, wait, wait. What? Uh. What the sh... What? <laughs> Guy Red, was that supposed to happen? Is that us? It's not Grandma. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jim Wall's approach to all of this is so strange. Time of death. Wow. What? The hell is that? That doesn't look like anybody. Was that us? Are we in a wheelchair now? She kissing us? <laughs> the hell was all that? Stay off that knee. <laughs> what approach is this to game design, Jim Walls? It's the it's proprietary. It's it's his own special formula. The Jim Walls approach to game design. Thanks, Grant. I appreciate it. Apparently, I was involved in a, uh, a hit and run, and I barely survived during that 10 second montage. <laughs> Become Robocop. I can feel it. <laughs> if only. Oh, it's Lyle again. I'm telling you, he had our parents killed. I'm calling it. I called it earlier. Come on in. Hey, Tiger, how goes the recovery? Looks like he has a mustache in his picture over there. I guess it's just his mouth, but it looks like he has a mustache when he clearly doesn't have one there. He just looks like a more ethnic Steve-o. Well, I'm still pretty stiff and sore, but mostly I'm just going stir-crazy. I've been sitting around this house for weeks. Easy, Jake, you're lucky to be alive. Yeah, but this is still hard to be cooped up like this. You know, kid, you're not doing anybody any good sitting around here waiting for your disability to leave to be up. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Why don't you come down to the office and give me a hand? I think it'd do you good to get out of the house and keep your mind working. I sure could use you. The exercise would keep my knee from getting so stiff, you know? That might not be such a bad idea. Can I get you something cold to drink, Lyle? I'll get it, Jake. Just like I got your parents killed. What? He totally did! What kind of a transition is that? Jim Walls? Dad, wake up. Please wake up. I heard something. Somebody's in the house. Aw, oh, this is when we we heard the break in. And the, the guy from the intro killed our parents. That's a friggin' bummer. How did we not get killed? Are we having flashbacks because it was clearly Lyle that killed our parents? Lyle, how much do you know about my parents' murder? Best way to answer that, Jake, is for you to come down to the office and take a look at the file I have on the case. I've got to get going. i got to do Jackass 5 right now, but I wanted to give you this first. I had these printed up for the business. Come all down to the office when you're up to it. Thanks, Lyle. I will. That is a nice Afghan. We buried the lead. I have your... I've known you for my whole life, Lyle. I don't need your business card. But I'll look at it, because I now understand how my inventory works. The plastic Jameson and Ryan calendar is small enough to carry in your pocket. Cool. What do you think, Gran? Did Lyle kill my parents? What's shaking, Gran? What's that, Jake? I can't hear you over the water faucet.
Alright. The Bulls lost again. Actually, no, they probably didn't. Michael Jordan was on the team. Anything else going on? Can I finally use the computer, Gran? Yes, I can. She's done optimizing her hard drive. This calls for a save. Oh, you know what? That's a terrible name for a save. This save. Jakey. Online. 1994 internet. Here we come. Tsunami shell. A little plug for their... Oh, you know what? That's not a pubic hair. That's the Tsunami logo. I'm sorry, Tsunami. I thought it was a pew. Back to it. Yeah, right there. Tsunami shell. Okay. Great, another fingerprint. Wait, how do I use this computer? Can I print something? Print wacko, proto, and ring! Can't print that, can't print that. Cobb. Why is the Cobb file locked? Password. What was the uh, 712? I don't know what it was. All right. Ring.exe. Ring World Revenge of the... Oh, man, this is a game within a game. This is going to be so bad in a Jim Walls game. You play a mercenary in search of an old friend. Highly advanced technology is at your disposal. The danger... Oh, these are probably Tsunami games. Yep. These probably all are. All right, we're not going to give Tsunami any more plugs. Back to the Seedra. All right, what would the password be? We need more, more information. Is there more to this? Father's badge. Grandmother. Like, I need some names. Hours in this office. Can't give me any, any more information. Look this up. I don't think it's plush green carpet. Break into Graham Graham's computer. Ah, uh, letter. Jackie, I am so thankful to have such a loving and understanding wife. I know my job puts a lot of stress on you. Thanks for hanging in there. Love, John. It looks like it says a lot more than that. Oh, John and Jackie. Password is probably John or Jackie. <laughs> oh, yeah. The file contains a set of financial ledger pages and a blueprint for a warehouse. Gates, King, and Associates. A ledger pages refer to payments for shipments of automatic weapons. You don't say. Huh. Okay. Can I print that? Hell yeah, can I print the letter? <laughs> you don't want to print that. Ugh, your parents were stupid. All right. <laughs> Enter the matrix. <laughs> Where's my printout? How is this not the printer? I have to stand up first. This game's kind of a stickler about that. You know, I'm moving pretty well considering I, d I was just in a terrible automobile accident. Where's my printout? Is it in my pants already? Oh, it is. Don't just... Alright. That's fine. All right, let's go see Lyle now that we have some stuff he might be interested in and he might have some stuff we're interested in. But first, let's visit our girlfriend at jail. Our girlfriend at jail. Man, I want this to be a thing. I mean, Laura's okay, but come on. Miss McCoy is where it's at. Don't worry about the fact that I forgot her first name, gang. She's the one for us. 
Sometimes you just know. How are you today, Miss McCoy? Oh, I thought she called <laughs> Dandy. I thought she called us Daddy, and I was about to freak out. I haven't seen you in some time, Officer Ryan. Oh, it's been one day! She's so into us for some reason. I had a disagreement with the speeding motorist and lost. Weh. Come on, typos, Jim Walls. I'm fine now, though. Oh, right, yeah, we, we have been in a terrible accident and laid up for months, weeks. Have you given any more thought to having dinner with me? We never asked her out for dinner. You didn't have the backbone. You know, I've been awfully busy lately. Maybe if you remembered to actually arrest people the right way, I bet she's not into us because we suck at our job. Damn it. A body has to eat, and I'm not talking about food. <laughs> oh, he's such a bad flirt. Is my body all you're interested in? Did I just insert my foot in my mouth? That depends on your answer to my question. I thought you had all the answers to my questions. What I'm interested in is dinner with you. Yes, I love that we're not after... What's your name? Laura Dixon. We want Miss McCoy. You can call me Haley and I'll think about dinner. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. So much more so than when we got with Marie in Police Quest. Hello, Miss McCoy. All right, leave it at that. Hell yeah. I don't know, are we like supposed to do anything else while we're here? Hi, Larry. Hey, Larry, how's it feel to be running the city's best bed and breakfast? Every day's a holiday. You're a real card, Larry. I kind of half-ass that, I'm not gonna lie, but that's all right. I'm just, I'm on cloud nine right now because Haley was like, I'll think about it. It's all I need, Haley. Let's get out, let's get out of here. She does kind of have a Roberta Williams look to her. <sighs> all right. Now let's check in with Lyle. We should have some things he might be interested in after we uh, did all that that digging on Grand's computer. Is that his ride? Has he got the bug? The beetle? Hey Lyle, I thought about what you said. Getting out would be good for me. Interestingly enough, I'm walking amazingly well considering I said I couldn't walk, given the accident, right? At the very least, would have a limp, but I was not programmed to have a limp, so it is what it is. That's great, Jake. I'm glad you're here. Listen, I've got an errand to run. You wait here, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Ah, uh, he's totally gonna destroy some evidence about killing my parents. I've never been so sure about anything in a Jim Walls game in my life. Lyle totally had our parents killed or killed them himself. I'm gonna go through his stuff while he's gone. Microfiche. Police! This man killed my parents. I have no proof, but I have a very strong suspicion after playing a lot of adventure games. Inside the file are newspaper paper clipping several police forms describing what little is known about the night of the murders. You wish you had not seen the pictures taken of the scene. Yeah, it's gonna be a friggin' bummer. What do we got here? Scanning the newspaper, parents murdered cause you remember back to that terrible night. Jake, hide in the closet. Hide in the closet. Jake, hide in the closet. Oh man, that's a friggin' bummer. The Don looking guy from Phantasmagoria. Yeah, two shots, that, that checks out. That's sad.
Wait, what did we just, what did we do? Oh, microfiche. Let's plug that stuff in. Jackson Beach Police Department incident report form. Uh, Lyle Jameson, uh, there's the number, unsolved, 8383. Murder investigation, John and Jackie. It wasn't 83, it was 84. It was not 83, according to that intro. It started out in 84. Yeah, continuity, right? Hold on. I feel like this is... Stand by. That does that is a three, right? Report date. Yeah. Alright. Actually watching my own video here. Okay. Alright. The guys that were supposed to catch the guy that killed our parents, lost him, and, uh, yeah, May 18th, 1984, so, that was not our parents? I don't understand. Single gunshot. Is that just really, really, really bad continuity? Is that all that is? Three cartridges were found at the scene. There you go. Accomplishes nothing. Let's look at the cartridges. Nothing of importance, just the shells that killed my parents. Don't matter. Sets everything. All right, man, that just takes me out of the whole thing, Jim Walls. All right, you're back. So, did you destroy all the evidence? We good? Are you now clear of my parents' murder? Must be something we're overlooking. I don't know, kid. I've checked everything. We need more information. More information. More information. Well, I just found a whole bunch of stuff like this. I mean, this, <laughs> my boat rent token. I mean, this, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. My badge, this card you gave me, these blueprints, here we go. Does this name Cobb mean anything to you? A couple days before your mom and dad were killed, you rousted some joker named Cobb down at Tony's bar. Yeah, back in 1980, well, in the future, 1984, but he took off and we lost him. I never could link Cobb to the murders. Cobb's name is on this file I found on my dad's stuff. Maybe a computer disk is what your dad picked up. Cobb dropped something outside Tony's bar, but I never found out what it was. This could be the break we need. There's stuff about Cobb and another guy with the initials SC. We need more information on Cobb. Stephen Colbert? Steve Carell? So many Stevens are going to go up for this. Yeah, it's true. Must be something we're overlooking. All right, so we need information on Cobb. We, you don't have that? Like as a private investigator now? Don't touch my stuff, what are you doing? Call the DMV. Play something in the fax machine. Oh, can I? Oh, oh yeah, can we fax this? Is it though? I'll fax Richard Cobb's name to police headquarters. Maybe they'll have something on him that'll help. Good idea, Jake. I'm bad at my job. I should have thought of that. Here we go. Man, cutting edge technology. Oh no. What's this say? Oh, that's that. Yeah, all right. They just sent back F off. I'll do it again. Do, do it right this time, Jake. DMV. Here we go. All 
Oh no, alright, let's try the police this time. <laughs> Jake, are you serious? There we go! Just want to find out how many uh, speeding tickets they have, that's all. Jackpot! Cops got a rap sheet as long as your arm! We can even get a mugshot of him from Barry! Ah, my friend Barry. It says here the cop hangs out with Forrest Foley. Oh, man! Ah, oh, they're starting to come together! How soon until Lyle kills me for getting too close to the truth that he killed my parents? We need to see if we can find anybody who knows anything about Cobb. Let's know he's around town and see what we can stir up. I'm right behind you, Jake. With a gun in your back. Because you're getting too close. Are we going over together? Should we carpool? How should we do this? Let's do it. Am I driving? Am I you? All right, let's go see uh, our buddy Barry. I like it, AKA Jalo. I'll wait in the car, Jake. After all, I'm the one who can- Why are we going in that door? All right, where's this gun cleaning kit? That kind of looks like it. Uh, okay, there it is. On duty officers, oh well. All right, let's talk to Barry. Now we know, good call. Got things to do, Barry. See you later, Jake. See ya, wait, what? Can I get? In the... All right, I guess we'll show the evidence to him. Never know, like they really, that shouldn't double as both the locker room and an exit. That's really bad. Yeah, we had that, I did question if that was a poor man's Harold Ramis when we started playing. I've got a rap sheet and I'd like to get the mug shot. Jake, it's good to see you again, how's the leg? It's a lot better, but I'll be glad when I can get back to work. I'll bet, see that rap sheet. That it right there. Richard Snowman Cobb. Oh, that's fantastic. Is he into like the cocaine scene or is that just like a fun name? He likes to build a whole lot of snowmen. This is great. We're actually making progress. I'm so excited. Let's show this to Lyle. So you got this thing lifted up. Those are some massive tires. Can I talk to him? No, I didn't want to exit. I wanted to talk to Lyle. Talking produces no response. All right, I guess we're moving on. All right, so where we got his picture. We got information on him. He was at Tony's bar. We could swing by there. My bar. Man, all of a sudden you're incredibly thin and I've got more of a gut. Look what I found. Okay. This might be a waste. Should have tried talking to him, I guess. He's like Bruno Kirby. He probably needs you to hold your hand here. All right. Uh, here we go. Have you seen this man 11 years ago? Have you ever seen this man, Richard Cobb, before? His friends know him as Snow. Oh, this person at the bar knows him. Yeah, sure, I've seen him. No further questions. Give me one of those tree frog beers I've been hearing so much about. Try getting the bartender's attention, but he just ignores you. What? I'm a friggin' cop, friend. Well, I never knew Miss Richard Cobb only as Snowman. Yes! He comes in here and like now and again orders a beer with sauerkraut and pickled eggs. Was it tree frog? After 10 minutes, I can smell him from one end of the bar to the other. Is there anyone else around that might know him? Sure, Kate Pritchard's her name. And you're in luck, she just happens to be sitting down at the end of the bar. Yes! Hey Kate, 
talk to this guy, will you? Kind of want to play a game of pool. Alright, let's talk to her. Woman just ignores you. I'm a cop. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm a police officer. My name is Jake Ryan. Uh, well, I'm Kate, Kate Pritchard. I got Margot Martindale's at a younger age vibes. Do you know a man by the name of Richard Cobb? Do I know him? I know him all right. We were very close once. Sexually speaking, of course. Why are you asking about dick anyway? All right. I'm retracing the circumstances of a couple of murders. The killers were never brought to justice. I'm hoping to uncover something, anything, that may have been overlooked. Good luck, pal. If Richard's involved, you won't be able to do anything about it. He's too well connected. Give me a break, ma'am. Can't you think of anything that might help anybody your boyfriend knew at the time who might still be in the area? Quietly, Kate Richard searches her memory. There is one guy that Richard's been hanging around with lately. Give me a name, Miss Pritchard. I really need a name. I don't know his name, mister. He's just some filthy little worm that Dick meets here once in a while. Dick calls him the Weasel. That's the only name I know him by. Kate pauses as she writes something down on a bar napkin. Last I heard, he was working at the bowling alley. Probably the alley cat. Thank you, Miss Pritchard. Thank you very much. You are a big help. Well, I hope that name helps, but who knows if the little slime is even still around. Alright, now let me in. I got next game. Man, the shuffleboard table apparently has no time for small talk. As most men at shuffleboards don't. A large mirror and frame mementos decorate the wall. Is that briefcase from 11 years ago still there? No. All right, what do you make of all this, Lyle? What do you think, Lyle? I always try to talk to everyone. You never know what you might pick up. Thanks for the, the hint. Puck off. I don't have time for small talk, dude. Some like ducks, some like ducks. I like to play the shuffleboard bucks. What? Weird. See, so you're unemployed. That's cool. Have you got your own place, Jake? What? No, I live with my grandmother. Too bad. What? She wants to hook up with us? I was not expecting that. Alright. You know what? We're a pretty good match, I'm not gonna lie. You got this lady, and you got us. I don't know, we're... It's, that's, that's right there. Alright. Let's head on out. <laughs> Jake would. Yeah, Jake totally would. I don't know. Haley, she she still might, you know, she still might take us up on that dinner. But in the meantime, we're not betrothed to the woman. We can have a little fun with uh, Snowman's lady. Let's do it. All right, what'd I say? What, what's the bowling alley? Alley Cat? That's a fun name. Anyone see the uh, Disney movie Alley Cat Strike Back back in the day? With the young, uh... What's her name? Blonde lady? Come on, Jake. Time's money, you know. Man, they didn't program in much for you, Lyle. I'm starting to doubt whether or not you're my parents' killer. Are you the manager? That's me, Eugene's the name. Wanna bowl a couple lines? No thanks, Eugene. Let me know if I can do something for you. I'm a cop. I'm investigating a murder case, and I'd appreciate any information you might have. Sure, Officer Ryan. Uh, what do you want to know? music in this game, man. Every now and then it slaps. Well, let me know if I can do something for you. Alright, hold on. What do we got? We got the napkin. Take a look at this. Does the name Weasel mean anything to you? 
Weasel, oh yeah, sure, that's Follett. He works here. Follett? Forrest Follett? Is that the Weasel's real name? Yeah, he's in the back right now. I'll go get him for it. No, don't do that. Oh, okay. Hey, Follett, someone to see you. That doesn't look like he has that gut. All right. This is certainly interesting. Are you Forrest Follett? It's not what I thought you would look like. Maybe, who wants to know? I'm a police officer. Jake Ryan's my name. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Go jump in a lake. No, really, I'm a police officer. You ain't got nothing on me? Alright. Well, first off, I got your mug shot. Alright, well, I got. Alright, hold on, where is it? One, one second, here we go. Is rap sheets no use here? Taking you in. Uh. Mug shot. Talk all you want. Talk all you want. He's got nothing. Can I bribe you? You want some coupons from a boat rental place? Can I hook you? Disc printout? Oh. Okay. Look, all that. We can talk to me here. We can talk downtown. What do you want to know? You've been implicated in the Strathmore National Guard armory burglary. Whoa, you ain't get that. Could've pinned that on me. Then give me another name. I ain't got a name. Take him downtown, Lyle. Wait, no, Snake. That's all I know. Where do I find a snake? I only met him once. Come on, Follett. I don't have all day. Okay, okay, Snake's been letting me stay in his trailer. Down by the bikini hut. <laughs> That's all I know. Thanks, Mr. Follett. You've been a big help. Okay, Lyle. Take him out and put him in the car. You got it, Jake. I'll take him in after we check out his story. Hey, wait a minute. Can it, Follett? When you run with the big dogs, you're gonna get bit. Aw, oh, he's been practicing that line for ever since he got hit by that car. Take him out of here, Lyle. Sweet. Better find yourself a new second in command. Just drop them off the chair once, that's all. There you go. Got a key, alright. Nice. Did I get the key? Nice. Alright. To the bikini hut! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Time's money, you know. Alright. Can't believe they didn't update any dialogue for you. So lazy. Let's go to the bikini hut. Think it was back this way? Police department. Thought, there it is. Thought it was right there. We are on. Oh, for the trailer. Here we go. Easy. This is all very linear. Very simple. Okay. Probably spread these out a little bit. I don't like that it's eerily quiet. Newspapers, the couch feels grimy, trash can. Nothing on worth watching right now. Getting drunk won't help you solve this case. Eh, couldn't hurt. This is... See, there's nothing behind it. The bed? I have time trying to sleep on the man's... All right, can you reach that, Jakey? Take a closer look. Yeah, we're not going to animate that. Uh, 9 millimeter Luger? Yes, it will. I think my friend Barry will be very interested in this.
Yeah, this is, uh, this is a pixel hunt right here. I feel like we got pretty much everything. Boots? Boots? Ah, oh, we should definitely buy Miss McCoy a bikini while we're here. A little forward, but <laughs> I think she'll be into it. Decided to leave the boots where they are. Uh, what, what's going on with the boots? As an orthopedic lift built into the sole and heel, the sight of the orthopedic lift triggers a nearby forgotten memory. Oh, did the guy that killed my parents have orthopedics? <laughs> we have to go through the Jake hide in the closet every time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sure the nine-year-old kid noticed that the killer wore orthopedics at the time. Well worn. Well worn. Okay. Oh. I see a little screw that- What? You hide notes in your boot? Snowman? SC. Steve Carell, man. The list just keeps piling up. A list of dates for armed shipments from the Marblehead Island Warehouse. Marblehead Island Warehouse. Maybe Lyle will know something about this. Don't see anything else in here. Tried opening all the cabinets. Tried the cast iron pan. Be a nice practical weapon in the field. Weren't so heavy. I took Fall down to the station and turned him over to Sutter while you were poking around, did you? I wasn't in there that long. Find anything, kid? Sure did, Lyle. A schedule of arms shipments out to Marblehead Island with the initials SC and some of the 9mm Ang ammo. The uh, schedule even mentions Future Wave by name. Aha! Uh -huh. You fit the jackpot, Jake. That's the break we've needed. I'm really bad at my job. I've had 12 years to figure this out, and you did it in about 10 seconds. I'll see what I can do tomorrow to get the ATF in in this case. You check out Marblehead Island, partner. Partner? You mean it? Why not? Your name's already on the stationery. Oh, uh, was that? That was my dad. Thanks, Lyle. I'll check in with you after I check out the island. You get home and get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. When I'll kill you, I mean. Good night. Oh, it's so obvious. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.